No, it was just on the thing. Quite, it's. Oh, good morning. Oh. Sorry, we did not get the nod there. We're just having a little chat between ourselves. <laughs> good morning. Thank, yeah, thanks for that, William. <laughs> now we look like gormless. It's fine. Surprise, you're live. <laughs> Go. Just likes to throw us in at the deep end there. Hope everyone's all right, enjoying their Monday morning. Yeah, had a good weekend. It's been a little bit cooler here today. We've not had nice weather, but it is sunny out again there again this morning. It is sunny, and it's actually it's not too bad in the sun. It's if you get yeah. in the wind, isn't it? Then it feels a bit, feels a bit nippy. It does. So uh, today we are talking bit safety. safety. Yeah. yeah. All random a, bits of yeah, safety. Yeah, it's a bit of a random one this morning. It's just all things that you might need, to, you might not have realised, and a few different ways just to hopefully lower the chances of SIDS. Obviously, that's something that a lot of people are worried about. So it's about lowering that and then just making sure you're keeping baby as safe as possible. Yeah. And Whether it's so safe sleep or in the car travel, seat, traveling, around in the, the house. house. <laughs> yeah. We've got a bit of a mixture for you. Yeah. Obviously, give us a shout if you need, if you've got questions on anything that we can help with, see if there's a product that can help your problem. <laughs> Whatever it may be. Where, baby related, baby <laughs> yeah, safety related. Say, hopefully it's a baby <laughs> issue. We're not, yeah, we're not, we're not getting, getting ants. No, it's not that kind of life today. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, join us today, obviously, we've got lots of comments flying in already and I will say hello to those of us who have already said hello, but um, every comment you um, put on the live is entered into our prize today which is for a Claire de Lune cellular blanket in a colour of your choice. These are great because they are cellular, you've got your knitted holes in there so they're nice and breathable so if baby did wriggle down underneath them they're still plenty breathable as well. Got a choice of colours, you've got blue, we've got grey, we've got cream and we've got white so whatever you would prefer and maybe we'll even give you a choice of size. We might be feeling generous. Maybe. So there's so pram, pram cot size or there is cot bed size. Pram crib, pram crib that one is, pram crib. And these are all pram crib I picked up. <laughs> but they do but do. Yeah, they do, they do, do, do a cot, cot bed, bed size, size yeah, one as well. They do, yeah. So there you go. We'll be generous and we'll let you choose because yeah. you might be all kitted out for your cot bed already and think, yep. oh, I just think about to having one for my push, yeah. yeah. So good morning to those of us who have joined us. We have Vicky Thomas as our um, fastest fingers today. Hello, Vicky. Laura Ford joining us. Um, lots of good mornings from Amy, um, Gemma, Huria, I'm really sorry with names, <laughs> Victoria, hello, good morning, Angelina. Morning, good morning. So lots of people saying good morning to us. Look forward to this live this morning from Emma Williams. Thank you, Emma. Thank you. Well, we're relatively on time today as well, so we're quite proud. Yeah, I think, I think we're six, six or seven minutes late. So oh, here we go. Good. First question of the day, Laura Ford, do you sell stair gates? Well, that leads on nicely doesn't it to so, our first product so, yeah we'll start there then just for you so uh, once baby gets on the move and um, kind of an essential that loads of people i don't have them because i'm on my third child so i didn't have them for the third child it's i suppose it gets less important <laughs> baby safety <laughs> not really i'm joking um, the third one is just <laughs> they can roll down the see stairs. what you like um, but yeah they are a real essential item um, for stopping baby getting up the stairs. Some babies just seem to have that kind of know about it and they, they appreciate the danger, but there's so many that don't. Mine did not. No. My little daredevil did not. But I'll tell you the other thing that this is really handy with. So for myself, Dogs. the dog owner <laughs> with a baby, you want to keep the dog... If you're leaving baby asleep in their Moses basket or something and you want to get on with something, I had a... A lot of people came to my house when I first had him and they're like, why have you got a baby gate up already? He's not going anywhere. No. He just lays there. I'm like, yeah, but it keeps my dogs out. Yeah. And then I know that they so can't So again, another, it's another safety tip. They yeah. always say don't leave um, your child, baby, in the same room as your dog unattended. No matter how good your dog is, you just don't know yeah, they can be can, as soppy as you like yeah but. can set them off so yeah that's a good point you can use it for hi that. joe you can use it the stairs joe, joe says good morning joe you're supposed to be off this morning i was gonna say Stop get watching back, us go away we'll have it you did this wrong today come on now guys <laughs> i wonder if she will sit and watch the whole thing mm. i'm gonna be boring or excited yep. today <laughs> william says get on with the ordering joe come on now please <laughs> oh she's meant to be off leave her alone <laughs> Um, so yeah, so it's great for that, um, for anywhere in the house where you just don't want them to have access to. If, yeah. if it's a, not a room that's baby proofed and you don't want them going and helping themselves to wires or dangerous yeah, exactly. things, you can um, use them, you get lots of different sizes, different heights as well. So if you've got a climber, 
you need it a little bit higher. You can get tall ones yeah, as well. because there are those little ones. And you can also get, I think this is just um, the standard one, isn't it? Yeah, you push it also. You push one. Yeah. So, um, but we do do the flat step one as well. So if you're looking to fit it at the top of the stairs, we do yeah. recommend getting the flat step one because then obviously there's no trip hazards for yourself up yeah. and down the stairs Once it's as well. open, there's nothing there. Um, obviously at the bottom of the stairs, it's, it's not so much of an issue. And the nice thing about this one, which you do have out, is it the auto close. Yes. Because you don't have to worry about having hands free. So you can move through it with baby in your arms and it will swing shut for you. Yeah. You can also get ones that screw into place as well. So if you don't want to, um, if you want something a bit more permanent, you can screw them in as yeah. well. Yeah. And you can get extensions because obviously everybody has different shaped homes. So you can yeah, have extensions. Yeah, especially these days, don't they? Like yeah. You tend to find those with the older houses, staircases are quite narrow. Yeah. So yeah, so lots of different sizes available. Um, Next question. Yeah. Shall we do? Shall we do Let's product by product yeah. based on questions? Yeah. How much is your snooze core bundle? So um, <laughs> the snooze pod four by itself is one hundred ninety nine ninety five. But I have noticed this morning it's on a bit of a special offer, so you might be able to get it for a bit of a better price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then if you buy in a bundle, it is two three nine. And your bundle, which we haven't bought everything in because no. obviously we're not focusing product by product, but your bundle will include um, a set of two sheets. Your Pocket on the end. Pocket on yep. the end. Oh, well, I'm oh, knocking things Laura. off now. Oh, sorry. Um, your pocket that comes on the end, your little cloud, sleep aid, and your mattress protector. I had to think then. <laughs> your mattress <laughs> what protector. Was included, yeah. Which is also a good safety feature because it helps obviously present any, prevent any bacteria buildup in your mattress. So mattress check it protectors off, wash are it. very, very good. Yeah. Um, you can also get the mobile, which we've got on there, which is 49 at 95 and comes in a, a colour to match your um, bedside crib as well. So if we move on to safe sleep then. So bedside cribs, um, the Lullaby Trust and um, the World Health Organisation advises keeping baby in the same room as you for the first six months. It's just so that you can keep an eye on them. I'm really sorry, but I have to Are read this out. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no, I'm not laughing at you. Okay. Um, Joe stood home. Oh, a safety gate for a puppy. What a great idea. <laughs> oh, yes. So, Joe um, and the children would really like a puppy. And mean old William. Who's won't behind let the camera today. Um, if you think <laughs> that William and Joe should a get a puppy, give us a thumbs up now. <laughs> How many do we need, William? I think William? you're going to get outvoted, yes. will you? You like them. <laughs> oh, oh, he's threatening me oh, now. His job's on the line now. <laughs> Don't get a puppy. Don't get a puppy. <laughs> We're not going to talk about this anymore. Sorry. Okay, Carry on. Um, so, yeah, a bedside crib um, allows you to keep baby in your room. Moses baskets are great as well, and people often have them downstairs, but they don't tend to last so long. So if you wanted to keep baby in the room, same room as you for the recommended six months, maybe a bedside crib is a better option because they're a bit they're bigger. They're a little bit bigger, aren't they? They last yeah. longer. I mean, they? my so little boy only lasted in his Moses basket probably four months, if that. Yeah, so um, they don't I mean, he was chunky, but he did outgrow it quite quickly. Yeah, whereas your bedside crib, it means that you'll be able to keep them in for the recommended amount of time. Mine actually lasted a bit longer than that, even. Oh, Zara cave, thumbs up and a dog emoji. There you go. Thank you, Zara. I mean, uh, don't do that, Zara. <laughs> don't do that, Zara. We want to keep our jobs. Um, tell him no excuse, either a puppy or another baby. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Jo did say she was feeling a little bit broody as well the other oh, day because we've got babies in. So, yeah. Sorry. Which would you rather, William? Come on. <laughs> we'll be, we'll be oh, causing dear. some arguments. Come on. Yes, yeah, let's crack on because otherwise we're going to be uh, we're going to be hunting for a job this afternoon. I think otherwise. <laughs> so bedside cribs really good for that. Um, you a safe uh, space for babies to sleep is an empty space. Oh, for goodness sake, Laura! Oh, no, I'm just destroying. I set it up nice. so nicely, and you're chucking everything everywhere. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so it's an empty space. So that's whether we're talking about a Moses basket, whether we're talking about a bedside crib, or whether we're talking about your cot or your cot bed. Um, it's best to keep it. Have your pillows and your toys and things in there during the day, but then make sure it's it's empty for nap time and, and, and night time. Um, so as you can see there, the new snooze pod four does have um, an aerated. Um, do they call it a bumper? Like so, like the section. inner fabrics are all yeah um, around the they inside. Call it comfort air breathable system. Yeah, and it also so this underneath where that flap has dropped down as well, you can see it's all breathable around the edge. So it lets plenty of air through and stops baby from overheating in there as they well. They also have this very clever um, what they do on their mattress bottom, obviously because they want to put as much um, ventilation through there as possible as well. So instead of your traditional slats, you've got more of a honeycomb pattern. 
in your in your yeah which i think is really really clever because obviously you get as much breathability as possible with as much sturdiness as possible yeah and the great thing is you can actually unzip this whole um interior section and you can now machine wash it which is always handy yeah so whether it's sick or just to give it a bit of freshen up when you're changing your sheets it's, it's a good mm. idea isn't it and then when you place a little one in the crib you always want to think firm flat foot of the bed the three f's is the not the naughty F's. not the naughty f's the three f's good um, f's. flat foot of the bed so we want a nice yes. firm mattress we want it to be flat and we want to pop baby at the foot of the bed so that just means that their feet are at the bottom it's just going to stop um, or reduce the chance of them wriggling down because they're already at the bottom they're already at the bottom. nowhere to go the clothes could go the other way <laughs> they can wriggle up if they really want to <laughs> but then they'll be out of the blanket so it's okay um, so the optimum room temperature for babies is between 16 and 20 degrees. So the best way obviously to monitor that is either use your um, monitor, and often they have a temperature gauge on that, don't they? Yeah. Or you can buy a, a thermometer. Here's yes. one we had earlier. Here is a new one into store. So we've got some new things from Pure Flow, so we'll show you those in a second. But one of them is the Starlight Colour Change Thermometer. Um, some of you may have the Grow Egg, which is another good version. And this one will change um, to show you how safe it is at the temperature. So if it's too cold, under 14 degrees, it will be blue. Perfect is green between 50, or they said 15 and 20 degrees. Getting hot is your 21 to 26 degrees. And then too hot is quite a dark red, um, over 27 degrees. So yeah, it, that's in the peak of summer, isn't it, for us? Yeah. Really? Yeah, if we're room. really lucky. <laughs> don't want baby's room that hot. No, you don't want baby's room. It's not lucky, it's not good. So another way of keeping baby safe is keeping them in your room to six months and then you, you will kind of judge the temperature as well and whether that's too hot. You can keep an eye on baby, keep checking the temperature. Just by putting, it's not really the head or the hands that you want to check. It's not really an indicator because often baby's hands get cold anyway, don't they? Yeah. But um, it's by just popping um, a couple of fingers tummy. onto the chest, tummy or mm. back of the neck as well just to feel yeah. how, they, how they feel in there. Um, Jane Woodcock, this is a really good tip. Remember, no quilts till baby is 12 months old. Yes. That is good advice. Same for pillows. Yeah, no advice, pillows, no pillows, no quilts. quilts until baby is 12 and months old. And you may old. find even when they get to 12 months, it's not a magic number. You can then give them one. They might not like it. I did that. I got to 12 yeah, months. I was like, oh, here you go. You can have a quilt and a pillow now. It was like, no, put me back in my grow bag. <laughs> Oh, my sleeping bag. I want to, uh, I like that, thanks. So we had to go back to that until he was then ready for one. Um, but yeah, so this changes um, temperature. It's also a chargeable battery, so there's no cables or anything to get there. And you can just wipe it clean as well. But there are other ones. There. So um, some of these products, someone is just asking how much the thermometer is. I'm really, really sorry. It's the one product we forgot to write down this morning. And it is that brand new in store that we have not yet got it listed on and the website. And it's only that but one that's not been um, labelled up. I think all the other products that we've got down here yeah, are labelled up. Yeah, got stickers on them, haven't they? Um, but we will, we'll put it on later. I was going to say, we can put the price up later. If you if they, messages. Do you see anything today that you really, really like, obviously, and you can't find it on our website, do just send us a message because it is available. It's just that it's brand new, came in this week, so it's it's just not built yet yeah so, <laughs> so we can still sort it out for you so let us know the tech team are a bit upset with us that we got a bit ahead of the game today <laughs> but you know we, we like them we want people to see them it's new and it's relevant it's all relevant stuff yeah we just timed it wrong um yeah no hats indoors for sleeping sometimes you see newborn babies still with their hats on that they might have outside mm. so just I think make sure they the don't need common it common misconception made there is that because when you're in hospital the first thing they do is put a hat on baby's head yeah so it's kind and of followed so you just that. think oh well they did it so i've got to do it but yeah. they do it because obviously it's such a shock for babies when they first are born to keep them warm that they need to keep them warm in that initial period mm. but once they are a bit adjusted to being in the outside yeah. world you home. are better because that is where um obviously that will trap a lot of heat it comes out your head. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you if you wear if you if you're wearing a hat in the summer, your hair feels extra sweaty, doesn't it? It does. It does. Yeah. Um, stop it burning. <laughs> if you're outside. Yeah. Put one on after you're outside. That's fine. But inside, you don't. They just don't need the hats on. They can just have the blanket. So you're looking for lightweight um, blankets on them. Joe's or still here. Are you going to watch the whole thing, Joe? Pure flow thermometer, 26, but on offer for 23.95. Oh, there we go. Well, I suppose it is a good job she's watching. There though. you go. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Um, yeah. So um, another option is sleeping bags. So yes. she's chat about those. Quite safe to sleep. So sleeping bags. Whole variety. Oh, I just grabbed a few. Sleeping There's bags. one underneath as well. We've got a Claire de Lune one at the bottom. So. Your standard sort of everyday wear, you're looking 2.5 tog normally, aren't you? Obviously in the summer, yeah. you're going to want to go a bit lighter. For example, we've got these lovely, well that's actually a sleep suit. 
mm. rather than a sleep bag. So it's but good for when they're a bit older, they're wanting to stand up, they're not falling over in their bag. <laughs> I love the penguin waddle though. There's something <laughs> yeah, about a toddler, like a little 18 month old in a sleeping bag waddling <laughs> up and down their cot. It's the cutest thing. Um, but yeah, so obviously this is a 0.5 tog, which obviously you would consider using more in the summer months. Um, you can also get one, can't you? Then 2.5, and then if it's extremely cold where you live or in your house, they do a 3.5 as well. Yeah, but obviously, depending on the tog, depends on how you dress your little one. Um, we did have... I think on Busy Ground has one. one on the back. Mm. No? Uh -huh. Is it hidden? Here we go. Yeah. It's a bit hidden away. But you will get some sort of generalised advice, obviously, depending on what room you want, what tog you want, and then how, what sort of layers you want the little one to be in. Um, so obviously if you've got a lower tog for the temperature of room, you'd just put another, think about putting another layer on them yeah. or vice I've got versa. Them on the back of here as well. So this is the new Pure Flow um, baby sleep bag. This is a 0.5 tog again, um, three to nine months, this one. And on the back, it does again give you um, a description of what they should be wearing and, and in what temperatures. Generally, you'll get them in two different size groups. You normally get them not to six, six to nine. Yeah, but this one is nine just to a bit different. Pure oh, Flow works yeah. a little bit different, I think. They go in three month increments, I think. So, yeah, so it must be the newborn size is not to three months. Then this is three to nine, and then down there we've got a nine to 18. So, yeah, yeah. so they yeah. do work slightly different. Obviously, if something does say from birth, yes, generalised it is from birth, but obviously every baby is different. If you have a particularly small, petite baby or an early baby, then a sleeping bag might not be suitable for them because it's all about obviously not being able to get their head through that hole or their arms in yeah. or anything like that. We don't want um, it to be too big for them. So just always, obviously, when you do put them in it for the first time, just check that there is no way that they're going to wriggle into yeah. it. So there's uh, the one that Laura's got there has got the extra poppers on the armholes. So you can open those when they're a bit bigger, but for newborn babies, you need to keep that closed and it just makes the gap a little bit smaller so they can't do that. Yeah. Um, these new Pure Flow ones, they do have breathable mesh panels, which is nice. And they've also got a travel feature, meaning that you can put them in their um, car seat or their pushchair as well with a harness that got a little hole so you can poke that Which is through. something that a lot of people do worry about with little... You know, I had the question raised to me the other day actually about car seats and blankets and things. And it's a concern that obviously because babies rear facing, you can't necessarily see if they've kicked the blanket off or mm. up. And at least that's a, that's a solution there that yeah. you know um, that's not going to happen. No, and I suppose if you're travelling at night or something, you could they could have that on in the yeah. car just to, as another protection. And then you could hopefully take them straight out. Fast asleep. Fast asleep. Shuffle off straight the in car. their bed or their bedside crib and then never wake up. Well, during the night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or not during the, the transfer. <laughs> yes, that, that didn't come out right. Um, they also do the swaddle to sleep bag. So this is really nice. It's a, from not to four months. It's their all seasons two and a half tog. Um, it's as a swaddle stage, so they have their arms in for the first stage, and then they move on to the arms out once they get once once they get a bit older. This is another thing. It's not really a safety thing. The swaddle. A lot of people do come to us and go, "Oh, is it safer to swaddle?" And it's not necessarily down to safety. Babies either like swaddling or they don't. A lot of newborns <coughs> really will just simply because it's the position that they're used to being in. They're in just kept. The yeah, everything is kept tighter, I mean, isn't it? They've got more. Anyone who the is heavily pregnant will know they've not got a lot of space in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel every single movement, every <laughs> single leg kick, every single yep. elbow that comes out. So they're used to being a bit scrunched up, so they just find it a little bit more soothing. But you might find it only takes even a few weeks until suddenly their limbs are all out and they're like you to they explore want a little to bit. Out, yeah. So then you sleep in bags and things um, are a bit the more... the reflex, isn't it? So every now and again they can just like, st the startle reflex. Yeah. They can do that and then obviously that can um, wake disturb them, them and wake them up. Whereas if they're enclosed not got as much movement but i love the videos i don't know whether you've watched them on facebook and things where people unwrap their swaddled babies in the morning and they're they're all cuddled up and they're all cute and as soon as they get woken up they go like that yeah <laughs> <laughs> stretching out <laughs> yeah so there are a few uh, different items um from pure flight if you do decide to swaddle um, in the more traditional way, you can also use uh, muslins as well. Lots of videos and pictures and tips how to do it. Imagine your baby is a burrito. That's the advice yeah. I got and it worked. Yeah, <laughs> wrap it up like a burrito. <laughs> um, so Pure Flow do these lovely packs of two and they are um, extra large as well. These are £12, which I think is a bargain for two. Um, beautiful patterns. We've also got another one in here, which is... Is that a bear? I think it's a bear. Yeah, it looks like a bear, I think. A cat? That's not a cat. What kind of cat is that? I'm sure it's called woodland, so I'm sure it'll be bears. <laughs> cat 
grass in the woodlands. So yeah, these are really nice. Um, and the good thing about muslins is you can use them for lots of different things. So you can use it for feeding, to cover your, yourself up, or um, to burp baby, put it over your shoulder, and catch any sick that might come up, and then also for your swaddling as well. Or just using it as a light blanket over the top. Yeah, well, they're nice and breathable as well, aren't they? They're really thin, mm. so you can sort of layer up as many times. Yeah. Um, your cellular blankets are also a good swaddle aid yeah. as well. The ones that are our prize today. Obviously, everyone who is commenting is in with a chance of winning one of our cellular blankets in a choice of colours. So they are also a good swaddle solution because, as we said, with them being that sort of aerated fabric, they basically do the job of keeping you warm in the winter and cooler in the summer. So they're really good um, multi-use to those. Yeah. Um, someone, Tracy Calton has put no cot bumpers either. See, Actually, I was just looking at the next point on my list that I've made to myself. Everyone yeah. has seen Say them. sleep. Um, cot bumpers, especially when they start moving around, they're just a danger. They, they might have ties that they may be able to get hold of. Obviously, being around the edge, it's stopping the breathability. Yeah. And then also, if they can, once they move, they can kind of put, almost put their necks on it and there's been yeah. cases of babies. It's, it's the conventional bumpers, like the, sorry, no, the traditional bumpers that are the sort of most risky, aren't they? The yeah. ones that you'll have seen in your cribs when you were probably children. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we do do um, the we Claire do wraps, Lune. don't we? We've got two different types. We've got the busy growing wraps, which just yeah. go around a couple of bars at once. Still wouldn't recommend them until baby is probably able to push themselves away from anything on their own accord. Yeah. So obviously when they first roll around, they can roll somewhere and then go, Oh, I can't get back. Yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck in this position. Whereas, obviously, once they're able to go back and forth on their own free will, then it's a bit different. I, I did use the wrap bumpers for Jackson when he got to be quite a rambunctious sleeper. And every bang night I was head, sat downstairs and all I could hear was bang, thud. Yeah. And I was like, oh, the poor little tyke, he's going to hit his head. <laughs> so I felt like I just wanted to pad them out a yeah. little bit just to soften them. But we do also do the Claire de Lune um, mesh ones. Yeah, so completely breathable. they're all breathable the whole way along, so they are a lot safer to use. So they're, they're, there are options on the market that are safer than, but like I say, it's your traditional sort of drawstring, big padded block shaped yeah. ones that and you can also get some like it almost looks like um oh the knitted knitted ones. yeah they look like, like big, big knitted rings around the whole yeah pot, don't which they? again is going to do the same thing so it's yeah. it's not safe to use so they an look empty beautiful. one yeah they, they do, do. yeah beautiful. and take it take your pictures in it and then take it out once it's gonna actually sleep it's fine yeah. um while we're talking about traveling and obviously we can use those in the car seat at the push chair um, you may have seen the things that go around um, in the summer months about babies um, having a blanket put over the top of their car seat or their pushchair to offer yeah. extra shade when it's a really sunny, hot day. The temperatures in there can reach crazy prices. I know, uh, crazy prices? Crazy prices. temperatures. Yes. <laughs> crazy prices. <laughs> so expensive, those temperatures, I'll tell you. <laughs> Um, and it really, it's obviously keeping that heat in there and not allowing it to escape anywhere. So they've done tests, haven't they? And it goes up really quick. It is, it is quite dramatic, actually. Mm. It's just sort of encasing that heat. It's kind of like greenhouse effect, basically, yeah. in your pushchair. So yeah. it is quite dangerous to do. Yeah. Um, so many times I've been walking around town and I see it and I'm like, Oh, you no, just want to just oh, rip it off. No, I'm not going to. Oh, Get should off. I? Mm, mm, excuse me. <laughs> um, so these are a great solution. So these are Snoo Shade. You can get lots of different types. Um, so you can get the... It gets a little bit confusing, um, but you can see from the pictures which one is best for you. So you've got the original Dux, you've got the Plus Deluxe, you've got the Plus. I think there's probably more than that as well. But basically, some have a hole that you can completely unzip and so you can see baby while it's on or some may just have the zip in the centre here. You know what, we should have put David in there to do a little peep bow, beep -boop, beep -boop. wouldn't we? Yeah, and, and then you can just keep an eye on them like that if you needed to open it. But this is completely breathable material, um, so air can get in, it's just blocking the actual sun rays coming through. And you can use them in lots of different ways. Let's not have a look at one. I've just so got Tammy can... Gardner's asked, are the grow bags on the website? Um, so these, these different... aren't grow bags as such. Grow bags is a brand. brand yeah. But we have the sleeping bags on our website, just not the pure flow ones yet, but they will be soon. Messages sure. if you do want to order. But yeah, the busy growing ones will be on there and the Claire Delune ones. So yeah. that's the only one we should do, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, you can have it in the sunshade mode. Um, you can have it just over their legs. And um, on certain ones, you can also use it on your um, pram with your carry cut on, attach it to the hood and also attach it to your handlebar. So rather than going over and completely encasing it, just kind of offers a bit of a, a visor. 
that comes out and completely protects babies. So they're a fab idea, have been tested and lots, won lots and lots of awards for how um, of good idea they are. And it just uses little Velcro bits just to hold on to your pushchair, you can't see. Yeah. And it, like you say, it's just, it's just a much safer option than the, than the traditional blanket over the top. Yeah, we should do that little test in the summer. Yeah, just do to it show. ourselves and just... We've got our thermometer now. Yeah, but we can use the star, put the star in. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I was thinking that the actual Oh, sorry, the, 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 <laughs> that we, the one we that shoot we people when shoot they come people in with yeah. <laughs> um, Next thing about um, safety, um, car seats. So newborn babies, we're talking like the first six to eight weeks-ish um, of baby's life. They don't want to be in their car seats for longer than a half an hour time frame. I know some of the hospitals close to us, Peterborough does, I don't know if Pilgrim now does in Boston, but Peterborough now they will um, check the oxygen levels of baby before they let you leave hospital of them in their car seat. Yeah. Because I think I think the rules did change slightly during the real COVID lockdown thing, but as standard, let's yeah, say in yeah. normal times, yeah, because so I know that they Nadine said it. that she felt a bit just let loose. Oh, they not. just sent her on her way with, with her little one. Um, yeah. And, and th th they didn't do it, but it was just right at the peak of yeah. it all kicking off. Yeah, so, so normal situation. Normally, and hopefully we are moving here. back to that normal. Yeah. But so babies' newborn heads are very big and heavy in relation to the rest of their body, and their neck muscles aren't very strong. They don't have good neck control. So they kind of sit slumped. Um, they need to be more right in a car seat for an occlusion safe for them to be up more at right but then obviously they do sit slumped in the car seat so then oxygen um, levels do drop because they're not their airways aren't completely clear like we said before firm flat surface is the best place for baby to be so you carry cot if you keep them in the car seat for too long nobody's saying that something's definitely going to happen but there is a chance that the oxygen levels are dropping so it's much better to take them out of their car seat when you get wherever you're going put them in the carry cot so they're laid flat and um, better for their spine development as well there are some car seats on the market. So we've just got your, your um, the new Pebble 360 down there. That's a standard um, kind of, re not recline, but like the angle of the seat is a standard um, seat. So you can see there it's quite upright. It's not laid flat like you would really um, want them to stay in a long amount of time. There are key car seats like the um, Cloud Z, which is next to that, the orange one, or Autumn Gold, I should say. And that has a recline feature on it. So there, it is a little it's bit more emotional. right. That is the one colour that they do that I'm like, I don't understand the name. <laughs> I really don't, but... Some people say, oh, I love that colour, or some black. Can I only get it in that colour? <laughs> does, does it come in black? <laughs> yes, it comes in black. So you can see how much more reclined baby is in there. So if you are using your car seat on your push chair, you don't want them in that angle. You want them more like that. So it's not quite your carry cot flatness, but it's kind of replicating that. And then you're better in there for more two hours rather than half an hour. Um, once they get to six months, they'll have got much better head control. Obviously, depends on baby, um, and it's not then as much of an issue. You can go more to the two, two-hour mark anyway. Amy Alexander has asked, "Do the fly nets that come with push chairs help with shade?" I wouldn't say they're that's not, their purpose. No, is it? they're not UPF rated, so they don't officially offer any protection no. from the sun, and usually they're quite. They do let the air flow through, don't they? So I don't think they stop as much light. No, they, they tend to have slightly bigger holes, mm. don't they, I would say. I mean, they might do a little bit, but, they don't. Yeah. but that's not their in, intended purpose, shall we no. say. So yeah. it's not. And then Ellen Marie O'Brien would like to know, can you get a double? I don't know if you do a double. I don't, I don't know, actually. actually. We don't have one in store, but I'm not no, sure. No, we if... don't have one in store. So whether you just need t two, one for each side. Yeah, well, for each seat. Attach it down the middle. Yeah, maybe. I'll look into that for you. Send us a message and we can <laughs> double check for you. Um, Any more questions? <laughs> Jane Woodcock. Oh, I do tell people. Some are very thankful, others ignore you. I think that's about blankets on top of push chairs. Yeah, it's, it's a tricky it one. It is a tricky it? one, isn't it? You're like, They're the parent. Oh. You don't want to get too much in. But then some people just don't realise. So, like you say, would be quite thankful and say thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> HL Crouch. Um, haha, yeah, I had the mesh breathable one, so we're back to bumpers here because yeah. of the head banging. Yeah, 
It was, it was, honestly, I'd sit at night and I'd think, what is he doing up there? Honestly. <laughs> Having a bit this of a was like, like I said, this was at the point there where he was crawling and things. Yeah. And I was just thinking, my goodness. I mean, he still rolls around in bed now. How yeah. he doesn't fall out more, I've no, no. idea. But he's got his bed guard on, he's all right. Yeah. Bed guard, well, another safety thing. Not really baby related. Yes, but, when they yeah, but once bed. they get to toddlers, um, yeah. you don't want them falling out. So safety first, do like a, um, a metal one yeah. with the sides that you can lift up and down um, to stop them falling out. Some of your cot beds may, all, may come with. Um, like I said, extra piece that you can attach on when you turn oh, into the bed says the sound's gone off funny. I don't know whether that's oh. you or me. Oh, sorry, I keep getting told off from my hair. I should have tied it up today, shouldn't I? Sorry, I apologise. Hair, is that Quick. better? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's better. Um, uh, yeah, or I've had um, a wedge. I've only just taken it. Tristan is three and a half. I've only just taken it out of his bed. It was just a wedge that... Um, oh, I've seen those. Like Did a it go foam wedge sheet? that goes under the sheet yeah. and stops him. Yeah, rolling. I have seen those. Um, Jenny Roberts, I have a car seat that lays flat but doesn't go on my pushchair. I tend to take her straight out anyway and leave the seat in the car. It's best practice. A car seat is for the car, pushchairs for pushing. So car, a carry cot is a much better place for any baby. It's, I suppose it's, though, it's just convenience with an infant carrier. Those quick trips into the co-op for your milk, bread, you're going to go yeah. straight back in. A lot of people home. do it on the school run as well, don't they? School run, got an older yeah, one and a ideal for that. One. Especially um, if it's, it might fall at nap time, when yeah. you're dropping them off, if they've been up early and then it's nap time, you're doing the school run, you've had a bad night, you don't want to wake them up just for the school run, in and out quick, it's, it's fine. Oh, I will just shout this out for Jane, because Jane has been a good Samaritan here. Jane Woodcock has said, the lady who asked about the snoo shade, Cootie do a double, I've just looked for you. Oh, there thank you. Go. you. So we've got a nice little community that like to help each other, I like yes. that. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit harder for us, we should probably have two iPads so we can Google things at some yeah. time. <laughs> Right, we'll add that to the to the list of things. <laughs> William, we need a new iPad, please. <laughs> we do that all the time. Yeah, just one second. Yeah, bear with me. Bear with me, and I'll check. Um, Charlotte Hay has put. I'm learning so much. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Oh, thank, thank you. you. We're glad it helps. Health and safety. It's one of those things that some things are just obvious and you know, and other things you may it's never have considered. It's also one of those rabbit holes, though, that if you, you as a new parent go on the internet to search these things, you yeah. can frighten yourself Skate to death out, yeah. and think, how am I going to keep this thing alive? Like, yeah. They're so temperamental. They're, well, they're, this you know, is their temperature is so temperamental. They can't do this. They can't <laughs> do that. I always say that as a species, we're really very <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> because if you, if you think of a baby giraffe, right? Yeah. It has Straight quite up, a full stand up. to start off with. Plops out. Within a few hours, up, walking. Running. Running around. Playing. Yeah. We Maybe are useless. We need to uh, catch months. up a little bit with the giraffes. <laughs> I always say it. Maybe when yours come out, you yeah. can just drop it to the floor and come on, baby. Be a baby giraffe. Off you go. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to happen somehow. No. It's fine. It's all right. Jo said to me yesterday that she's willing to do the newborn bit for me. So there you go, William. Yeah, okay. We don't need a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> just look after this baby for a few nights. Yeah, that's fine. Um, right, have we done all of our products? I think so. I think we have, haven't we? We've done safe sleep. Um, and your options for bedding, empty cots, car seats not in them for too long, baby gates for once they're on the move, travel. Or before if you've got pets. Or before, yeah, if you've got animals. Another animal tip, um, if, I mean, we don't do them, but I know a lot of people that do cribs, cat nets. Yeah. Because cats are prone to trying to get into a crib. Yeah, That's you see a lot one. of pictures, don't you, where the cat's got straight and you don't want to sleep on baby's place. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> the baby can't shove them off. <laughs> no. Um, Catherine Preeley's put, I'm due in nine days' time, so starting to panic a little bit about everything now. <laughs> Don't panic, Catherine, I promise. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Most of it is common sense. There's just a few things, I suppose, like temperature that you may not realise, but kind of judge it. If you feel hot in the room, ba the baby's going to. So don't, yeah. you don't need to wrap them completely up and think I've got to no. have big blankets on because they're going to get cold. It's much safer for them to stay cooler than co uh, hot. Yeah, and I do think, like I say, as a, as a first-time parent, it is one of those things that you can frighten yourself to death and you can think, yeah. oh, my God, it's impossible to do. I need to do this, that, and the other. Yeah. And if you check every little thing, then then you will sort of panic yourself far yeah. too much. Yeah. But the other thing you've got to realise is there's constantly research. There's constantly these things going on. So the guidelines are changing all the time. And it's very a lot different of these from things, when we were kids as to Exactly. When a lot of these things that we've spoken won't. about today, I mentioned them to my mum, and she's like, well, I never... I never worried no. about that. I never did that with you, and yeah. you're all right. I'm like, yeah, well, I am, but some babies weren't, so that's yeah, why this no, advice absolutely. is now here. Same with car seats. We didn't have car seats. They yeah. should be fine. I was putting a Moses basket on the back seat. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. 
Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Apparently it's fine. But it's like with the car seat thing. I always say to people, there will be some children that you can put in a car seat for two hours and there's no problem at all. But we have to give the advice based on those that... That may, it may it affect. It may affect. So yeah. it's always better to err on the side of caution with these things, isn't yeah. it? Who wants a cellular blanket? Last chance comments. Last chance, yeah. get your comments in now. So, um, Angela, Anna, another wonderful live, ladies. Thank you, Thank Angela. You. Oh, and Daniela, another wonderful information. Aw, oh, all this love. I'm Tomorrow, feeling the love today. It's a good like week. It. Did you see our post um, last night about this week? This week is a really good week for lives. We have obviously had today's. Um, tomorrow we have Casato. Becky from Casato is joining us our live tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And she's giving away a choice of two gems. Oh, a choice. A choice. Oh, oh. don't give Shall too much away. I suppose it's tomorrow, so I can say now. I don't know. I, I, I'm hiding. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting say. a nod from you. Oh, you're getting, you're getting the nod. I'd go for it then. Yeah. So tomorrow, you could either win a Wow XL, um, which is perfect, single to tandem push chair, um, if you've got another baby that you're hoping will join soon, or even if you've got two children already. Yeah. Um, or you can choose the new Wow 2. It's good, isn't it? There you go. So yeah, a really good live, and obviously having um, Becky from Casato, and she can answer all your Casato queries. And then Wednesday is the Bugaboo Fox Two giveaway. So we're going all through um, the different features. I know we did links last week, and now it's going um, focusing on the Fox Two, all the di different things you can do with it. Um, brilliant push chair, and then you can win one as well. And then we've got car seat bundle on the other days, uh, car seat accessory bundle, and vouchers. A lot of people are going, me please, I want one, I want one for this, I want one for that. <laughs> um, wow XL are amazing, definitely recommend, that's from Melissa. Oh. There you go, you see, see? Talking from I always love when, a, when a, someone who has the product can, can verify that we're not just saying these things, we do, we do, do yeah. our research. <laughs> yeah, so get, get your comments ready for, um, for Becky tomorrow. Right then, so I think I've answered all the questions. If I have missed any questions, I'm really sorry. Lots of comments coming through today, so it's really nice to see lots of lots yeah, of interaction, but it does mean that I have to read really, really quick, so I'm really sorry if I've missed any. Um, yeah, if you, Zara if Cave, not, is there a messages. Sling Live this week? No, there's not. But there is one the following week, because we are introducing, um, we've just got Moby into store. Oh, there so you go then, Zara. Are, so it's next we week doing. to tune in if you want to look at I think at Zara's wearing. messaged um, or commented on something about... Um, Carrying twins, carrying her twins. Ah, okay. Which you can do in the close caboo and a wrap. Um, but if you want us specifically to help you directly, just message, or we could do a video consultation if you want as well. Oh, see, look, Jane's on it again. Tammy asked, what is a door sock? And Jane said, it's a sunshade that goes over the door. You can still open windows if needed. I won't be without mine. There you go. Okay. Thank you, that's Jane. What a wood, that's what we a need a, a guest appearance from Jane. All <laughs> the go. Jane's got all the answers. <laughs> there was someone as well. I've just flashed past it, so I'm really sorry I didn't catch the name. But it does say on there that if you're ever unsure or insecure about anything and you want to check anything, obviously there are good websites out there. NHS is probably obviously the first one. Port yep. Call. There's your lullaby trust for your safe sleep advice and things as well. So there's lots of places that you can go and get some good advice, or, or you can. Contact us and we can help where we can. <laughs> we'll see if we can help. <laughs> like said, as long as it's baby related, we'll give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> right then. So I'm going to start to scroll and you're going to shout stop at me in a moment. I'll show you the colours. So we've got white, we've got cream, we've got grey and we've got blue. We also do pink, but I couldn't see any out there. So I'm presuming we might be one near the, the till. Oh, OK. Well, messages uh, with your details if you're the winner. <laughs> not not yeah. just random. Yeah, just random. I'm the winner. <laughs> and stop. Okay, Hayley Hill. Loving the sunshade. Well, I hope you love the blanket. I hope you love the blanket as much. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Hayley. Just messages with your name. Sometimes Facebook mess name is different. Um, your address, your telephone number, and your email address for the courier, as well as your colour choice. And we will send it out the courier to be with you tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. Right, did we hear five. from you before five? It should be on the van for tomorrow's delivery. Yep. So thank you everyone for joining us today. Thank Hopefully you. it's been helpful, especially those that are maybe pregnant for the first time, maybe some things you may yeah. not have known. Or hopefully calmed some of those nerves about things that you might have panicked about. So hopefully showed you it's not it's not all undoable. No. Easily doable. Yeah. 
So join us tomorrow at half 11. I think it will be Joe um, with Becky from Casato tomorrow and with a fab prize of oh. two push chairs. Zara Cave has put, yay, congratulations, Hayley Hill. Hayley was my amazing midwife. There you go, Hayley. Nice. You'll know exactly what to do with the Zoe Blank. Hayley was just listening, being like, I know all this. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Professional. So, yep, thank you very much, guys. And join us tomorrow. Well, not me, I'm not here, but join uh, Kelly and someone else tomorrow for jo the. I uh, think it's Joe tomorrow. Oh, yeah, of course, because it's with Becky, isn't it? Yeah, awesome. See you then. See ya. Bye. Bye.